you look at yourself uh, as a performance coach? I do. A performance coach in the sense that we want to make sure that our doctors, our teams, and the trainers and speakers we work with communicate and perform in a way that really impacts their bottom line and their results because that's really what we're about. So it's all about either stage performance or performing when they speak to their teams or they speak to patients. Very nice. Okay, well, how did you get into this? Well, I started as a dental assistant in college and eventually managed that front desk with a very busy two-doctor practice. So I have that background of the dental field, medical field. But after we moved to California, I took a job, my only job, outside of healthcare, which was the marketing manager for Callaway Winery. And so that really helped me understand um, how to make something like a wine label come alive and mean something to somebody, right? So, Good. and also that work in that corporate environment where things are a little bigger and faster and uh, business uh, works at a little different pace. So it really helped me in my coaching of dentists and uh, physicians and with teams to understand that good business principles are good business principles regardless of the, of the size of the company. And our job, no matter what the product, is to connect with our audiences, connect with our consumers, and to somehow learn to persuade them in a way that they feel that what we're recommending for them is going to be in their best interest. So you've been uh, helping dentists in particular for about, what, 20 years? 20 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have. And one of the cool things about it is it has really broadened into other, as I said, discretionary healthcare providers have noticed that the skills that have helped my clients gain such great results. Or for example, we, we've uh, recently had some clients that have really um, impacted their treatment acceptance ratio by about 30%. So that wow. gets noticed by some of their colleagues, and we've been doing a lot of work in, in some of these other fields. So the Lioness brand, mm -hmm. what is it? What does it mean? The Lioness brand sort of found me. Um, we, I was actually looking for a metaphor or an analogy to use in my training course for trainers. And I tripped upon a Discovery Channel program about how Linus teaches their cubs to hunt. And what I saw in that video was that while certainly scientists have identified that she teaches them how to hunt, the fact is they were actually born with the instinct already. So it turns out she's not so much teaching them as she is creating an environment where they can, where she can tease out of them what they already naturally, intuitively know. And I, I said that was it. That was the principle I was looking for because, yeah, what lioness learning is about convincing our clients that there's a bigger game in them than they typically play or typically access. Do you feel like you're different, by the way, than other consulting companies, and if so, how? Well, I think one of the things that makes us the most different is we are not satisfied until we've had good results, the client's good. definition of results, right? That's a good so, answer. Yeah, and, <laughs> and I think we get those results consistently because of two reasons. One is we don't coach problems. We coach people, right? It's sort of the old analogy, biblical analogy of uh, you can give a man a fish or teach him to fish. And so we want to make sure that we're training our uh, coaches to, to think differently about not only this problem, but the other ones that will arise, right? So and there are other forms of communication. So that's um, one of the reasons. The other reason I think we're really different is that we don't do data dumps. We know how to come in, help them build their own protocols and systems. We don't hand them a book of scripts. And we stick with them until they can actually do it proficiently and independently of us. So we have some testing mechanisms in place where we test their ability to perform on these skills before we leave them. Because a lot of times the Good. complaint is a consultant comes in, a coach comes in, it gets better while the coach is there, but once the coach leaves, what do we have? Yeah. So our goal is to make sure that their results go up while we're there and they stay up while we're gone. After okay, and on. you do follow up with them? We over do. Time. You have we do. Packages where they could. We do. Typically, we check in once a year, but some clients want it more often, and so we, we often have a quarterly check in call with them, and uh, we find that that helps them to sustain the benefits of the coaching much longer. So we're out of time, mm -hmm. but if somebody likes what they heard, but mm -hmm. they still want more information, maybe okay. they're skeptical, uh -huh. or they just need more info, sure. uh, where do they start? Go to your website? Absolutely. Go to the website, send us an email, give us a call. We'll have a chat about what would best suit them and meet their needs, and um, we'll create a customized program that'll work for them. All right. Well, thanks for coming on the You're program. You're so welcome. Thank you for having me. I'm Randy Alvarez. We'll be right back.